Hello people, welcome back to Dutch Modeling. Today we're going to do another inbox review. And this time it's going to be the Freedom Models, Freedom Model Kits 135th Skill Rocca Black Bear, the CM-37 MGS, Metal Gear Solid, Mobile Gun System with a 105 Cannon. This is a prototype, as it says here, and this comes from their WIF or Fantasy Series What If project. It's uh, kit number 15104, and you can see here uh, Black Hawk in the Sky. And then the urban camo, square camo, black bear, just gonna call it black bear, in the mud with barbed wire, all nice splashes all over here. Very nice box art. On the sides, we find the cat drawing of the massive turreted four wheeled, eight wheeled, sorry, four wheeled, eight wheeled, eight wheeled carrier with the deco sheet and some footage here and got some detail shots over here as well and on the side here you got the names and everything on there you can see one of those QRA codes I no I, I those codes I I I I R no IQ no not IQ QRI can't remember the name with the name and the item number and the box art on this side you got test vehicle, test fur, urban camouflage, standard camouflage. Take a guess which I'm gonna do. <laughs> I don't like that. And side again, name, box art and the width. Width. So let's open this box and see what's in there. And I already opened this. And the first thing that I noticed this and this is something and I'm gonna show you this in a second because it's the instruction this is the first thing I do what they did with this in my opinion is brilliantly easy smart and I don't get that any nobody else ever done this before so put this aside first then I already tell this vehicle is massive and it's finished. Get the sprues out. Nice and annoy some people with the sound of crackling bags. Photo out on this side. And this is quite a tight fit. But at least it fits. Barely. And then put these aside as well so I can put them back where they belong. Done with them. On there and then the instruction sheets and everything. So that's it. Yes. So the photo ads were mainly grills, as you can see here. Find the grills. Here more grills. And then we got the tackle sheet, which we're going to do after the instructions. So we've got the color call out here. Nice in color for the color. Nice and big. I hope it doesn't. This is the uh, test city camouflage. Then you got the prototype test camouflage. It's just green. And these are all in Geo Creo Mr. Colors. C70, so it's a one to one mix. These are all mix, mix ratios. Here as well, a whole shit ton of colors. And then we got the standard camouflage. And Freedom Models always also has a Rocker Armored Vehicle Crew that goes with it, which is kit number 135001. And a model painting guide. The CM uh, Clouded Leopard series here, which is a paint and detail. Please re refer modeling paint guide, which is number two five zero 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 one. So, if you want to spend a little bit extra, you know what to do. 
Now, to the instruction sheet. And as you see, you got the instruction sheet for the CM33, the CM34, Clouded Leopard, Clouded Leopard, and the CM37 Black Bear. Now, why did it do this? All those vehicles have the same base. The difference with all these vehicles is the turret. So, what did Freedom Model Kits do? They made one instruction booklet for all three kits. And quite easily, you start with underneath the hole. I'm going through this in detail in a second. And then you get in here the instructions for the CM33 Clouded Leopard. You don't need these with this kit. You got the instructions for the CM34 Clouded Leopard. You don't need these. So you just skip them. Until you get to the CM34 MSG Black Bear. These instructions you need. And this just saves them time, money and paper. They have to print one thing instead of three separate ones. I think it's smart. So, it's a nice colored booklet. <coughs> Proof your overview, and as you can see here, all these proofs plus the D proof for the CM34, the H proof for the CM43, 33, 33, and for the 37, 34, 33, yeah. the F, the D, and the, this one, because this is all what you get with, which I got, and you get the blue one, or the green one, or the blue one. Talk over this. Starting building, drive team parts. A lot of parts. Make the wheels, you shouldn't glue it because it's still movable. Then you make a hatch. Then you start on the. Uh, this is. Just, just looking. Look. This is the upper hole. The upper hole. Hatches, engine deck. Sides, all kinds of small stuff goes in. Then you go over here. So the front of the upper hole, all kinds of stuff. This is, it's hard to see where we actually at. This is also this is the rear deck. This is the engine deck, but it looks fit. Where's just the front? No, this is the rear. And then this is the lower hole. Front goes on. Panels go on. The driver, there's a seated position for a driver, so you can actually open it on the front, I guess. Then the drivetrain goes in underneath. Pretty shiny. I don't know if you can see it really well. And the, uh, just the steering rig with the brakes and everything goes on here. Suspension, springs, and you do the same thing on the other side. Then you got the rear end, the door, all greedily going on there. Some tools here, an axe and a pickaxe, as you can see, hooks for towing, and it goes in, and you can optionally lower it to open it. But there's no interior detail, so I wouldn't recommend that unless you want to scratch with an entire detail. Interior uh, wheels with some extra protection, do not glue again. Front plate goes on, top plate, rear plate, but see uh, make to cover, please use F32. Ah, yeah, okay, yeah. Go to 16 step one. Yeah, they're, they're a little bit different. So instead of using this big plate, you're gonna use a small plate. And that's the only plate you got in here, so. Then, skip this, skip this. Start here, and you got 16.1 extra doing something a little bit different on the top plate here, as you can see. 
because that's this giant hole for the turret. The turret. Building up all kinds of small stuff. The uh, hatches here, infrared viewfinder, the gun, which is a free part, goes inside on a movable pack. The photo edge, which you need here. Oh, it goes the icon here. Here it goes. They actually colored it yellow in the instructions so you can see what this photo is. So you can see it better. Then got the third basket here. Fuel cans. The machine gun. Command machine gun. I'm guessing it's a 50 cal. Third side. This is turret basket. These are the side baskets from the turret. Then you got different antennae. Side baskets and turret basket go on. Smoke line marches or smoke dispensers. Armor plating on the side. You can choose either you do the photo edge or you do just the regular plastic parts. And the turret goes onto the hole. And the machine gun goes onto the turret. And here's a color call out. And the color colors here is Mr. Color AK Mission Model Paints and Tamiya Paints. And again, here's the body for the standard camouflage, the test camouflage, the city test, and the oh, this is prototype. Yeah. So this is standard. This is so uh, the, the multicolored. This is a city. This is just the olive drab green. And this is the standard color version 2011. It's not what they call out on the. This is a different one. Hmm. Strange. Well, doesn't matter. Those are the instructions. And I'm gonna put the P in here because I noticed it's very easily bendable. It won't get bent again. Safe that way. Let's see the. Is this resealable? This is resealable. Don't have to cut it. There are two. One larger and one smaller. Photo set. <coughs> so you got the black, blue, and red squares. The tiger hair, dark heads, panther hair, oh, probably a cloud panther because of the name, and all kinds of numbers. And they look to be all nice and registered. I'm guessing these are license plates or something like that. There you go. And then put this aside. I really don't want to scratch those up. Nice resealable bags and they close themselves. They close when I tell you to, not when you want to. Come on. You're looking you're making me look like an amateur who's never done this before. Who knows he did and I one of those days that nothing wants to work with me. And this is, oh, there it is. Been not working. Just some letters. So this is all that's on there. In green and in white. That's it. No clue. I can't read trees. Just because they look to trees and houses when I look at them, so I can I can read trees. So the plastic, that's the thing I can read. Like I said, this thing is massive. Bam! There it is. And total length. Uh, 
21 and a half centimeters and whatever that is in the old outdated measurement system you have to check yourself uh, there's no texture to it there's some pre-drilled holes there's a little bit of you see it looks like a hatch smaller on there's some hatches molded on here as well all in all you cannot really see a lot on this one it doesn't matter but that doesn't mean I'm not going to show you anything and mostly the underside I'm thinking this, the camera will be whiting out on this because it's a very strange yellowish color I don't know what the camera picks up to be honest uh, there's a little. Is it on this side as well? No, it's only on this side. Idiot. There's a small hatch there. Really, have the camera picks it up because I can't see anything in the little viewing screen. Sorry for that, guys. I can't see anything. It's just completely whiting out the screen. So, but that's big. On to the turret. It doesn't make it any bit smaller. Two parts? Oh, well, of course. Uh, it's pre released from the sprue, as you can see. There's, it's dirty. It's definitely dirty. You can see, but there's nothing underneath. There's some riveting on top here. It's a little bit of texturing here in the corners, and that's about it. Uh, some locator holes. But all in all, there's not a lot to see here. I'm just gonna see if you can see a little bit of texturing there in that corner there, just over here. This part, and then the, of course, the rivets and bolts and everything look pretty good. But like I said before, the little viewing stream is completely whiting out for me with this color of yellow, so I have no clue what you can see. I uh, would like to text, test fit this, but then I would need to cut all and clean it up already, so I can't. Or I could, but I don't want to. Uh, well, clear parts, which are lenses here, and periscope, so yeah. That's nothing needed to see. Let's do the wheels with the poly caps. So I'm going to try and take up one because if I cut this bag open completely, they will be running around that box until the end of time. The wheels are Michelin axis. They are they are moldable, but. They are pretty hard at the same time. I need to put some really force on there. But like I said, they're Michelin's. So, well, you got the name, not the figure. The snowman. Uh, all in all, yeah, not bad. The surface here, the thread. You can see there, and just twist it here. You can see the sides. Michelin X. And here as well. So yeah, it's cool, and some polycaps, but well, I don't think you really are interested in polycaps. It's not like you've never seen polycaps before. Um, I would say those polycaps are probably very nicely molded. Yeah. So, one very big screw here, and here you can see the extra, the, the different uh, plate you need for the Black bear, and then there are back plates on here. Yeah, so I'm going to show you the difference between the back plate for the black for the black bear and the back plate for the cloud panther in a second. I just have to cut it open as well. Uh, 
because I'm just gonna put them next and actually know which is which. So this is the back plate or the, the top plate for the black bear. It's this one. And this is the plate for the cloud panther. You will do it like this. And see here. So we won't be using this, but there's a lot of nice of anti-skip texture on here, which you do not have here. That's a shame. But you can see the difference. This is just the third ring. And this is a square part where a different third ring will be inserted. But you don't have that with this kit because it probably comes with the parts for the third for the club. So I'm going to put this on the side first. Finish up this one. So, upper deck, gun, third basket parts, third basket parts, gun parts, jerry cans, mm, the muzzle, muzzle brake, all kinds of small parts here. Uh, you're too big for my small green friend, so you have to go on my big green friend. Uh, hopefully this isn't too annoying with the green yellow lining in there. Well, at least I can hold this up quite easily. Oh no! Oh, I'm actually I'm getting sick when I do it like that. So it's going to be a little bit harder, but we're going to do it with my green little friend because the yellow lining really messes up the camera for some reason. This is better. So. There's the mount, the mount, the, and it's completely hollow, so that's a good thing. And then go further down, does seem a bit crooked, and the, there's more, a little bit, there's some texturing there, the basket, which is very, by the looks of it, it's uh, flash free, so that's nice. The two part barrel, the jerry cans, small parts there, there's the other third basket again, like I said, it looks to be flash free. My massive hands. Parts, small parts, and here's the upper deck, and as you can see, there's no texture detail on there as well. The cloud the cloud panther parts had uh, anti skid texture. The and uh, this one doesn't. It's kind of a shame. And these are the smoke my launchers I guess. So put this back. Try to open the mat. Put it underneath here. So come on. So we're going to show this one, uh, don't do this because you do not need it, we know that now. Uh, these are the side armor plating, the uh, parts for the running gear, uh, suspension and all kinds of stuff. There are a couple of uh, injector pin marks which you need to clean up otherwise it will not hold up to the sides of the lower hole. There we go again. And the axles. The hatches. There's one of the sides. You see all the big knobs on there. More parts for suspension. And well, just because this see the texturing there, and this is the cloud pan for the top uh, piece, it has a nice texturing. The black bear, which one this is, doesn't. It's kind of a shame, but there's probably a reason behind the madness. Back in here as well, these are the two biggest screws. Ooh, Bennett. And we got three spoons to 
for no this is a uh, dual spruce so these are two the same so we got this one and another big one and then it's done already so not bad not bad at all let's see you can see two mirrored spruce one on the side we've got the springs wheels hedges parts for the suspension Disc brakes, hubs, and smallies, smallies, smallies stuff. So, yeah. Go, okay. All kinds of small stuff. You can see disc brakes there, wheels on the side. Oh. The edge is there, and uh, it's going to go for me. Oh, that's why. And here are the leaf springs. See. Nicely molded again. No flash so far, that's good. Let's see if I can do it like this, or just want to do it like this. Or do it like this. Ha. Just a puzzle that everybody wants to solve. How you like it to do it? And the last screw, which has got a lot of big parts. And this has texture on it, so I'm guessing I'm not going to use that. Why do you guess that? Uh, no, well, because well. driver's hatch, rear target, rear door. These are all anti-skid parts, I'm guessing these are for the Cloud Panther. So here's the rear door. And there's all sorts. This is shovel. Here's some tools, pickaxe, axe. So, like I said, the driver's hitch. <sighs> Steering wheel. Yep. Here we go again. All the small stuffs. And there are a couple of big stuffs. Some nice detailing. Some nice, tex nice texturing, but I do not know how much you need these in the black bear. Probably not. Because it would be the only part with anti skid texture on it, which would be a kind of strange, if you ask me. But then again, I'm not a model kit manufacturer. Here we are. And we almost wasted another 30 minutes of your time. <coughs> so, clean up a little bit. That's the way the wife doesn't want me to see it, just done. You don't see it, it's not there. So far, my what's in the box review for the Freedom Model Kits 135th scale Rocca Black Bear prototype, the CM46 mobile gun system with a 105 cannon on there. This is from the What If series or the WIF What If project. And they really say. This is a, uh, this nippers etc. required for assembly are not included. Just so you know. Before I turn to tell you what I think of this kit, is that I really want to thank these guys over here at Domino.be for providing me with this uh, review sample. Uh, Domino.be, of course, is a online store, also a physical store in the uh, western southwestern part of Belgium. Uh, visit their website, Domino.be. See if they got something you like, something in, in on offer, or some kits you randomly just like. They ship worldwide as far as I know. So uh, they help me out very much doing what I do, these reviews for you, by providing me with these review samples. So 
guys go over there, help them out a little bit, stay in business, which is good for them, good for me. In return, it helps you as well. So again, Domino.be, thank you very much for providing me with these review samples to show the people that are watching this video. <coughs> Back to the review. The kit, very interesting subject. Uh, prototype, what if, I'm not even definitely sure if it actually exists or not. Because on the color cards on the ex on the back of the instructions, huh, sorry, it said standard version 2011. I don't know if that's a typo or they are actually out there already. But except for that, it all is a very interesting. It's just a uh, very big laugh with uh, LAV with a very very big gun on it. So who doesn't like that? Uh, I haven't built a Freedom Models kit yet, so I cannot honestly say anything about the construction, how it goes together. But overall, the plastic felt well, the molding was good, uh, there was a little bit of a lack of uh, texturing. But then again, it is a very, very modern vehicle and the, they do not have a lot of texture on them. It's just all plated. So it's all smooth. And uh, as you've seen, the other two in the series, the Cloud Panthers, did have the anti skid on the front and the top. So, and that's one kit I will be. I'm just gonna do a little spoiler. I will be reviewing soon. So, for now. It looks good. Uh, I hope it goes together well. It's an interesting subject if you like something that's not the mainstream. Definitely not mainstream, being the rocker black bear. And yeah, looks good. Nice moldings. Not a lot of cleanup, which is always a good thing. Not a massive amount of parts, but it's not also done with uh, finished. Nope, it's not a Tamiya. Yeah. And very clear instructions. The instruction sheet. That's a plus on my side because I really think they did what other producers haven't done yet. They thought about it and said, well, we make one instruction sheet, we can put in all three of the kids. Saves time, saves money. It's a plus. Win-win. So, yeah, I hope you liked the, uh, the review. If so, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. I understand. If you like my channel, and you haven't subscribed already, please do so. You will be helping me out without even costing you a penny. And if you want to be kept informed about my uploads, hit that little bell. Hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.